There is another name for directed system. We will see this name while I am telling you about mechanism. Okay. We will see what are those directed systems. This directed system comes under non-Newtonian flow because they don't obey Newton's law of flow. Their viscosity changes as you change your shear stress. If you apply more shear stress, they become more thick, more thick. But pseudoplastic, they become more thin and thin. But this thing will become more thick. We will see that. This is a very interesting topic. The directed system example is any system in which more than 50% deflocculated particles are there. What I am telling is system in which more than 50% deflocculated particles. A system in which more than 50% deflocculated particles are there. Example for this system is more than 50% deflocculated system. Means what? Vehicle is very less compared to the particles. Particles are more and vehicle is less. This is the mechanism. Assume, and the best example for this is cornstarch in water. Cornstarch is water. It is one of the example. What happens? We will see the mechanism first. Now as you, I have a cornstarch, I am representing cornstarch like this, these are cornstarch molecules. And these cornstarch molecules when added in water, so molecules are more compared to your vehicle. So these dots are water molecules. So cornstarch in water, I am representing cornstarch molecule like this and the dotted molecules, dotted part is water molecule. What happens when I apply shear stress? When you apply shear stress slowly, as if we are applying shear stress here in two parts, one is slow shear stress and one is fast. Okay. When I apply shear stress slowly, I am giving time for those water molecules and the cornstarch molecules to slide away. When you apply slowly, you are giving actually time for those molecules to slide away. So you can feel that system has liquid. When you, when you touch that cornstarch in water system, you can feel that has a liquid because you are applying only slow shear stress. But what happens when I apply more shear stress? So when I apply more shear stress, the shear stress is more. So I am not giving time for the water cornstarch molecules to slide on the water molecules. When the shear stress is more, when the shear stress is more, when I apply more shear stress suddenly, what happens? The as the water molecules are small, these water molecules try to slide, escape from the region where I apply shear stress. Assume I apply shear stress here, sudden shear stress. So I am giving time for those water molecules. As the water molecule is very small, it will escape. But constant molecules, these are larger in size. They don't have place to escape there. So water molecule will escape, but constant when you apply shear stress like this, you are not giving time for the cornstarch molecules to slide or to escape. But water molecule is small, so it will escape. But overall system, due to this, what happens here? 
there is no water present see this region in this region there is no water molecule present only cornstarch and the whatever the space you are seeing between the cornstarch it is an empty space we call it as white space so you have created a white space this is a white space so sudden due to sudden impact water molecule will go away but cornstarch molecules are so much big they can't go and the water molecule which has escaped created their white space in between the cornstarch molecules now this cornstarch will behave as solid when you apply sudden shear stress you are giving time for those water molecules to escape but as the cornstarch molecules are more and they are lot bigger in nature so they will not escape there but instead of that due to water molecule escaping from between the cornstarch molecules this their water molecule will create a white space now the white space and the cornstarch molecule together act as solid to feel it as a solid regarding this i have given video just check this video in this video you can see that as they are playing music start which is a liquid it is becoming solid when they stop the music it will become liquid but when they play the music due to that shear stress the cornstarch molecule is becoming solid you can see it is alive like you can see the particle is alive something it is looking like it is happening due to this nature because due to shear sudden shear stress the water molecule is kept due to presence of white space on the cornstarch that particle or that system is behaving as solid now how can i write graph for this means what the system is becoming here it is less viscous here it is more viscous it became almost solid how can i represent this if i draw the graph between shear stress taking an x axis and rate of shear taking on y axis has i am applying more shear stress but there is no movement that what i have to represent here means i have to increase x axis value but i have to increase only less compared to x axis the y axis value will be only less because there is no movement rate of shear is movement okay. can represent the graph like this so what this graph is saying this graph is saying shear stress is more but rate of shear is very very less so here shear stress is keep on increasing but rate of shear there is no movement that what that how i can represent what is happening in the dilatant flow in terms of graph if you understand the uh, mechanism it is easy for you to plot the graph provided if you are plotting the graph by taking shear stress on x axis and rate of shear on y axis you can find many textbooks where this both are interchange but to make uh, explanation easy i am taking a known thing on the x axis i know how much shear stress i am applying but i don't know what that system is behaving how that system is behaving okay whether it is moving fast or slow so as in this case as it is moving slow i am representing there is no movement but there is more shear stress i am applying more shear stress and there is no movement that how you can represent in this graph